afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Yankees. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. He will lead this one off today. The 2-2. Fouled off. The temperature here at first pitch, a very seasonal 63 degrees this afternoon. Now McCutcheon belts one, carrying well to left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. At the plate now, Reese Hoskins had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another payoff pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Tockman is in his tracks now. One down. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Harper. The 1-1 one -one home. Bouncer to the left side, and that's through for a hit. That is cool. the catcher. JT. Into the box now, JT Realmuto lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring in the middle infielder Gene Segura. Runners on the move for second. That's a strike to throw down. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. And he fouls this one off. Harper at second with two down. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. LeMahieu calls for it, and the inning is over. Into the box now, DJ LeMahieu. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. A leap here, but it ticks off his glove. The designated hitter, Aaron. Stepping in now, Aaron Judge. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Set to get his day started, Aaron Hicks. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. A 1-1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, man. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. That is good. The first baseman, Mike. So now to the plate, Mike Ford. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now, three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. He set the payoff pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. And in steps Scott Kingery. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swing and he pops.
pops him up. And Duhar onto the grass. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Into the box now, Phil Gosselin, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The 1-1. One -one. Hit to third. Andujar's got it. On to first, and Hap's rolling now, two away. So next to the plate for the Phils, Roman Quinn. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Fouled away. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Frozen on the fastball. Never had a chance, and the inning is over. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The 3-1. And he takes ball four. Lead-off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. At the plate, Mike Talkman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Under it is Harper, and Bryce has got it for the first out. Digging in now for the Yankees, Kyle Higashioka. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Line drive to center field. In there, a base hit. Standing in now, Brett Gardner. Phillies have an early 1-0 lead here in inning number two. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Segura for one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So stepping in, D.J. LeMayhew, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. One and two to D.J. LeMayhew. Runners on first and third, two away. To two balls and two strikes now. Here's the two and two. Here's a little chopper up the middle, scooped up, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So digging in now, Kyle Garlick, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The 1-1. One -one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Second at bat for him, and remember, he led off the ball game with that home run to get this offense going. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Ha has pitched his way to over 1,600 innings of work at the big league level and has an ERA just under four. A respectable number. That... And McCutcheon has himself a base hit. Now back, the first base, Reese Hoskins. At the plate, Reese Hoskins. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. is laid off, and the count runs full. I wouldn't be surprised to see the runner moving here on that 3-2 pitch. With only one out, but this guy at the plate swings the bat really well. So There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. At the plate now, Bryce Harper. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. 
Scott trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. And he okay. takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off now if you're the hitter. So a runner at first with one out now, and that brings up JT Realmuto. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. The bat, number two. Short to the plate now. Gene Segura turned on down the line. And he tries for the backhand, reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. The batter number two. Second base. Into the box now. Scott Kingery. And it's one and two. That's kept one and two. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. How about it? Third base. Now to the plate, Phil Good. Gosselin. Two on, two out for him here in the third. As a look, now the pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. Jonathan Luizaga is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Into the box, Roman Quinn. And there's ball two now. Now this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And it is trouble. It finds the gap for extra bases. Now back. Left field. Kyle Garland. Stepping in now. Kyle Garland. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Swing and a miss strike two. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curve. Reined in. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Here's big Aaron Judge. First time up, he went down looking. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A-B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Gone! At the plate, Aaron Hicks. And it's fouled away. No outs, nobody on. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already. And there's your first out. A one one home. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now that the first base hit. Mike Ford. At the plate now, Mike Ford. 2-2 Two -two pitch is fouled away. Hard hit to first. Hoskins grabs it cleanly. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired.
So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Ready on one and two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. McCutcheon is retired, and there's one away. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. And that last at-bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Two and two. One out, nobody on. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And he lost him here on three-two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Right. Harper. One-one. Seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. He set now the pitch to two balls and two strikes now. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Here's another 2 2. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Torres at the bag. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Coming to the plate now, JT Realmuto. He singled his last time up. He's going, he's Runner going, goes going. for second. Pitch inside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Quinn is right there, one down. Riding in once again, Mike Talkman. He flew out in his last at bat. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. Throw on to first, two gone. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth. And up to bat next, it'll be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Digging in now for Philadelphia, JT Realmuto, a winner of last year's Silver Slugger Award for NL Catchers. Now the 2 1. Nope, up there. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And another foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is after it. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. Segura. Segura behind on a one and two count. Bases are empty. One man out. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. The Stepping into the box, Second Scott eight. Kingery. 0 for God. 2 for him to this point. 
Grounded weakly to the left. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Late Brett Gardner reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Fouled off. Another 2-2 offering. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Another try at 2-2. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. The back. The back to the top pitcher. of the order now. DJ. And that will bring in D.J. LeMayhew. LeMayhew. He loses him on ball four. Trying to pick things up where he left off, hitter, Aaron Judge. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. Yeah. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. The one-two. Runner at first here, one man out. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Now batting, center fielder. So it's a runner at first Aaron. with two gone, and that'll bring in the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. Wheeler pauses, 1 1 on its way. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. The 2 1 home will not catch the zone, ball three. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. The 2-1 home. Hit down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Quinn will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Phil Gosselin. The 2-1 home. Is a fastball down below the knees. Roman Quinn, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And this will easily find the wall in front of the stands by the 314 sign. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff now double. The center fielder, Roman. In now, Roman Quinn. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look That's over the hard row, 17 inches. Two and two the count. And he fouls this one off. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, what a stop! So one away after the phenomenal defensive effort. Now at the plate, Kyle Garlick. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. The 1 2 is off the plate, up and away. Seven runs, nine hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. Now the payoff pitch home. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. 
Another full count pitch home. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Andrew McCutcheon. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. One and two now as that one's fouled off. As a look, now the pitch. Wheat grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Runners are at first and third, one away. Line towards center field. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The first base, number 17, to the plate now, Reese Hoskins. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Hit on the ground to third. Andahar brings it in. LeMayhew for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Mike Ford. Outside in a full count, three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Now batting. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Andujar. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Nope. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Oh, and he botches it. And the throw in gets away from him. Now that the right field. Mike. Talkman. Into the box, Mike Talkman. Full count, three and two. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. And there's a base hit on the line. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. The Ellis Guerra is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Standing in now, Kyle Higashioka. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit out towards second. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. One run scores. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. That makes it an 8-3 ball game. Gardner. At the plate, Brett Gardner. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Garlic. A range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in. DJ LeMayhew. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 3-2 pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Segura for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired.
Nick Nelson is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 79. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Bryce Harper. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. Now that the catcher. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Gone! At the plate now, Gene Segura. One and two now. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls on it. Terrific pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. The batter number four. Second base. Gone. So now to the plate, Scott Kingery. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 2 2. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Up next for Philadelphia. So striding forward now, Phil Gosselin. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Base hit into right center. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Luis Sessa comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Stepping in now, Roman Quinn. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Still only one out in the inning. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Kyle Garlick waits on deck. Line toward the gap in left center. Boy, and the shellacking continues as this is down for extra bases. Now back, left field, Kyle. To the plate now, Kyle Garlick to one and two now. From the belt, the pitch. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So two are gone now in the Philadelphia seventh, and that will bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in is the DH, Aaron Judge. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The count now at two and one. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' D.H. Aaron Hicks is on deck. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The next 3-2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. One gone here in the Yankee seventh. And that'll bring up the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. Hicks. 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hits this one hard the other way. And this is going to find its way into left for a one-out knock. Up next to the anchor, the shortstop, Weber. At the plate, Torres. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Now the payoff pitch home. Line to the right side. And this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. This one for extra bases. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Now batter. The first base there. Mark. Four. Standing in now, Mike Ford. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Miguel Andujar is on deck. Called a strike and it's full three and two. Hit hard on the ground a second. And he tries to get to the backhand, but it gets on by. And the second run will score as well. Now that the third baseman, Miguel. Into the box now, Andujar. Miguel Andujar. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Striding now in, batter. Mike Talkman. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Talkman. The 1-1. One, one. No, that's down. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third and no swing. It's ball three. The 3-2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ready to begin the eighth. And here comes the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Little too much bite on the slider that time taken outside. Where this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this. A swing by Hoskins, and this is driven to deep left. And it's gone as they add still another. Into the box, Bryce Harper sent out to straightaway center field. Hicks is under it. One down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, JT Real Muto. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The last at that, Matty V. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right now by him for the second out. The court stop. Two out, the nobody on. Segura. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now that the second base gone. At the plate now, Scott Kingery. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Oh. 
And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Stepping into the box, Kyle Higashioka. He singled and drove home two his last time. The 1-1 home. Swing and a liner. Foul. The 1-2. Out to short for Segura. He's got it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 1-1 is fastball taken high for a ball. All even now, 2-2. Two Three and two now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next three, two. Hard hit ball to second. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So the lineup clips over and digging in, DJ LeMayhew. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And foul, though it had the home run distance. The one two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. And the inning is over. Jonathan Holder enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. All set to start the ninth in this one and set to go as the third baseman, Phil Goslin. The 2-2. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Hit back up the middle, and a diving effort, but this will just tip off his glove, and that's a base hit. The center field, number 24. Roman. Stepping in now, Roman Quinn. This one's flared out toward left. And that's in there, base hit. For Philadelphia, the left fielder, Kyle. At the plate, Garland. Kyle Garlic. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Holder is a reliever known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout guy most of the time, but he also doesn't issue a lot of free passes either. There's a couple of keys to being a good reliever. One, if you have great stuff and you strike everybody out, or like this guy, not afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not afraid to let his defense help him out and make some plays. Gartner is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Striding forward now is the DH, Andrew McCutcheon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at-bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A-B. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. 
nope. now a fastball awfully close but he doesn't get the call it's two and two now good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one again he sends it out of play Just missed with the 2-2 count, and it runs full now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Nick Pavetta will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 43. Bottom of the inning now, and striding forward the designated hitter, Aaron Judge. Here's the one and one pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now batter, the center fielder, Aaron. In now, Aaron Hicks. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Two balls and two strikes to Hicks now. A runner at first with no outs here. Fouled off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game. The 1-1 misses for the second ball. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Popped him up. Hoskins has a play. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now with the play, Mike now Ford. First baseman, Mike Ford. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. He turns on it and sends it deep down the line in right. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Standing in now, Miguel Andujar. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three. On to first, and that will seal matters here this afternoon. Well, the die was cast in the third inning when they posted a bunch of runs. After that, they did everything they had to just to wrap up this victory. 12-7, to seven, the final score in this ballgame. Philadelphia get the win on the heels of four home runs. Zach Wheeler earns the win his second. Jay Happ was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.